sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with another Status Pro game for you. Uh, you'll notice the setup today a little different. No scoreboard in the scene. I will have the scoreboard off to the side, and I will keep the score on the scoreboard, and then at the end of every inning, I will put the scoreboard in front of the screen so that you can see where we are. But I've been told that it's a better viewing experience if um, the board is, if the uh, camera's closer to the board and you can see the cards and everything on the board a little more clearly. And another setup is today the home team is the Orioles in this game. This is going to be the 2019 Orioles against the 1919 uh, Philadelphia A's. Both teams were terrible, so it's an even matchup, but I'm going to have the Orioles on the right-hand side and the A's on the left-hand side because that's what I'm used to. I don't know who made Status Pro, but really the visiting team should be on the left-hand side. So that's the way it's going to be for us in this game. So without further ado, let's get into the game. Um, pitching for the Orioles out on the mound is John Means. And the lineup he will face for the A's is Cop in center field, Burns at first base, Jimmy Dykes at second, Walker at DH, Thomas at third base, Amos Strunk in left, Joe Dugan at short, and McAvoy at catcher. Um, and, uh, oh wait, they need a, uh, they need somebody else. All right, and uh, <clears throat> the last person, the number nine batter, I'm just going to add him at the end, is um, Witt, uh, Whitey Witt, um, and he will play right field. So that's the lineup that they're going to face, and so let's get on with it. The first batter for the A's is Cop, and that is a PB7, and John Means is a PB2-7, to seven, so it's on his card. And uh, the random number is an 11, and that is a single for Cop. Or wait a minute, no, 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 it's an 11 on here. It's still a single. It is a single, so... Cop leads off with a hit. And we'll record that. And then um, George Burns is up. <clears throat> that is a PB7, so it's on John Means' card again. And it is a random 15. And that's another single. So the uh, A's have the first two runners aboard on singles. The next batter is Jimmy Dykes and that's a PB7 again it is on Means' card and it is a 37 on the random number and that is going to be a wild pitch which is going to advance runners to second and third and then we will pick another random card and um, that is a 66 which is an out, and uh, the out is um, all go G6, so that's a ground out to the third baseman, and uh, let's see what the runner advancing situation is. Field back, the batter's out, shortstop to first. Uh, yeah, it was the shortstop. Uh, runners hold, okay? And uh, it wasn't an A runner on third, so he doesn't score. So that is going to be one out, and um, nobody scored. And a possible error check. And we'll pick another one for the error check. And um, error is none. So that brings up. Uh, Alright, so Jimmy Dykes was out, fielder's choice, and that brings up Walker, Tilly Walker, 
That is a PB10, so it's on Walker's card. And that is an 85, which is an out. Um, and let's see, RN is all goes G5, which with a possible error. Um, so let's see. The error, there is none, but uh, G5. Let's see. The infield again was not in. Five batters out, third to first, runners hold. Um, yeah, third base, yeah. Um, no, and no a runner on. So it's two outs with this situation still. Um, and now Fred Thomas is up. And that is a PB5, and Means is in control. And that is a random 88, which is going to be an out. He is an RN, and an RN is a G1A. All we have to do is see it's a ground ball to the pitcher. Let's see if there's an error, um, and there is no error. So Fred Thomas was out. The A's is Raleigh Naylor, and the lineup for the uh, Orioles is um, Hanser Alberto at second, Wilkerson in center, uh, Nunez at DH, uh, Ruiz at third, Santander in right, Dwight Smith Jr. in left, uh, Severino at catcher, Chris Davis at first, and Martin at shortstop. And so we will pick the card with Hanser Alberto up. Uh, Naylor is, oh, and also we have to, I forgot to reduce, uh, means two, so now he's down to ten. Um, Hanser Alberto, that's a PB7, and Naylor is a PB2 to six, so this will be on Alberto's card, and it's a random 77. That's going to be an out, and he is an RN, all go G6, so there's one away, we check for an error, and there is no error. So, uh, he's out, and then we go, Wilkerson is up, Wilkerson gets a PB6, that is within Naylor's card, so it will be on Naylor's card, and it's a random 13, and a random 13 is a single to left field. So Wilkerson gets a hit, and that brings to the plate Renato, Ren, Renato Nunez, and that's a PB7, it's on Nunez's card. It is a random 21, and a random 21 falls within a second base eight. So that is going to be a uh, double to uh, center field, I believe, and uh, he gets a a double. We're going to hold the runner there, Wilkerson. Well, no, wait a minute. Let's see. No, yeah, we are going to hold him there. So Ruiz comes up with one out. Um, the A's are going to bring the infield in. And that is a PB7, so it's on Ruiz's card. And that is a pick of 24. Which should be a hit. It's going to be a triple to center field. Ruiz with a big, big hit. So you got... Um, a hit and, a, and two runs, actually. Nothing just like that with Ruiz on third base. And Santander is up. That's going to be a PB9, so it's on Santander's card. That is a random 42, which uh, will be a strikeout. So Santander strikes out for the second out. And that brings uh, to the plate uh, Dwight Smith Jr. He gets a PB11. That is on, going to be on his card. And it is a 15. A pick of 15 gets him. That's going to be a hit, folks. That's a single to uh, right field. And that knocks in another run. All right, I've corrected the scoreboard. So, there is, so it now reflects three runs and four hits for the Orioles. With Dwight Smith getting... A single, 
and knocking in the third run. And that brings to the plate uh, Severino. And that is going to be a PB7, which is on Severino's card, and a 58, which is going to be a, a walk. So they have two runners on. And, uh, I mean, Naylor is having trouble just getting out of this inning. Uh, that is a PB7, which is going to be the next batter, is going to, and it's going to be on Chris Davis's card, which is actually bad for the Orioles. And that is a 62, which is a um, strikeout. So Chris Davis strikes out. This is what you got right now for the situation at the end of the first inning with the Orioles up 3 nothing. Next hitter for the A's in the second is Amos Strunk. And he gets a PB5, which is going to be on Means' card. And it's a 67, which is an out. And he is an LN, but it says all go 6A with a possible error. And the uh, error rating read, reading is, is none, so that's an out. Joe Dugan comes up. And that is a PBCD. <coughs> so we'll just pick again because there's no clutch defense coming into play here. With no one on, it's a PB3, which is on Means' card. And... Uh, Let's see, we got a, a strunk is out. And uh, we have uh, a random six, uh, wait, um, yeah, means is card 64. That's an out, Dugan is an RN. And so I'll go G3 with a possible error. The error rating is none, so that's an out. And there's two down very quickly. And, um, and also, I forgot to reduce. I forgot to reduce Naylor. He gave up uh, three. Wait, four. He gave up four hits, a walk, and three runs. So he's down to a seven. And uh, this brings up McAvoy. Wiki McAvoy is up with a PB7. That's on Means' card. And it is a 16, which is a base hit to center field. So McAvoy with a uh, hit. That's going to reduce Means 1. It's going to give the A's another hit. And Whitey Witt is up. And he this is a draw of nine, which means it's on Witt's card, and it is a 27, which is a single to center field. So that is a base hit. Another hit for the A's reduces means down to an eight. The next batter is, and let's see, we got to get that single. Next batter's cop, and he gets a three, which is on Means' card. And that's a 27, random card 27, which is going to be a strikeout. So cop strikes out for the last out of the second inning for the A's. And Richie Martin is up for the Orioles. Richie Martin draws a PB7, which is going to be on his card. And it is a 74, which is an out. He's an RN. And all go F4, so he flies out. No possible error. And Jarrell Alberto gets a uh, PB4, which is going to be on Naylor's card. And it is a random reading 33, which is a walk. So with one out, Alberto walks. That reduces Naylor another one. He's aboard. And uh, that brings up 
Wilkerson, yeah. Wilkerson gets a five. That's going to be on Naylor's card. And it is an 82, which is an out. He is a bats both. Um, so that is an F3, and that's going to be two away. And that brings up Renato Nunez, and he gets a three, which is going to be on Naylor's card, and that's an 18, which is a single to center field. Reduces him another one. Um, and yeah, puts runners at first and second. And then <coughs> Ruiz is up. That's an 11. It's going to be on uh, Ruiz's card. And it is a 23, which is a double to right field. So that scores another run. Um, so that's going to be another hit and another run. Um, let's see. Four nothing Orioles with Santander up at the plate. With two down, it's a PB9. It's going to be on Santander's card, and that is a 64, which is an out, and he is a bats both, um, and that is all go F9. So Santander is out, and that's what you got right now at the end of the second. I guess you can see that. Um, the, the score and the hits are the important thing. You don't need to see the field, but I know the glare is kind of... But anyway, that's where we are at the end of the second. We go to the top of the third, and um, the A's are up with George Burns at the plate. Say goodnight, Gracie. BB9, it's going to be on Burns' card. Um... And it is a random 34, which is a double. And that's a double to right field. So Burns gets a double, and he there's a runner at third base. That reduces means one. There's no out yet. Another hit for the A's. And Jimmy Dykes is up. Jimmy Dykes gets a CD, so clutch defense, see where it, who it's on, and it's going to be on uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Dykes, yeah, Jimmy Dykes' card, and it's a random reading 11, which is a single 7, that's a single to left, we're just going to have the runner stop, um, And that's another one off of John Means's, and there's two on with no outs. And Tilly Walker, this is the A's chance to get back into this. It's a PB6, which is on Means's card. And it is a random 51, which is an out. He is an RN. So the reading is a G6A with a possible error. Um, so it's a ground ball to the shortstop. Um, and let's see if there's an error. There is an error 10. So, um, if the shortstop is an E10, that would be, uh, an error. And he isn't. So, it isn't an error. And so, Tilly Walker is out. And that's one down. Next batter is Fred Thomas. That is an 8, so it's going to be on Thomas's card. And it is an 82, which is an out. He is an RN. Uh, all go G3. Ground ball to the first baseman with a possible error. And the error rating is none. So that's going to be two outs. Fred Thomas out. They're blowing their chance here. And Amos Strunk is up, and uh, he gets, um, well, that, that's a PB7, so it's on Means' card. 
and it is a random 57, which is an out, and he is an LN. LNs, it all goes F5, and so he's out, and the A's failed to score there. And we go to the bottom of the third. And they are going to replace Naylor. Tom Rogers is the new pitcher. And he is an SR 17, so it'll go back all the way back up to 17. Um, and Dwight Smith Jr. is up in the third inning. He gets a, ten, a PB10, which is um, on his on Dwight Smith's card, and it's a 37, which is a strikeout. So there's one down. Next batter is Pedro Severino. That is a PBZ. So that is an odd occurrence. So that was uh, right fielder crashes into the wall and it's a triple. So that's a triple for Severino. And that's going to be a hit off of Rogers' card. It's going to be a hit for the Orioles. A man at third base. They're on the verge of scoring again. Chris Davis is up. They're going to leave the infield back. Um, that's a PB7, which is on Chris Davis's card, which is what they were really hoping for. It's a 65, which is um, a, a strikeout. So that is one out. Or that's, uh, that's two out. That's a second out. Two down, and Richie Martin is up. He gets a four, which is going to be on Tom Rogers' pitching card. That's a 16, though, and that is going to be a single to uh, left field. And that is going to be a hit for Richie Martin and an RBI. So that reduces Tom Rogers to more. And Hanser Alberto is up, and that is a PB5, which... Um, is on Rogers's card and that is a random 43 which is a walk so there's two on that reduces him another one and that brings to the plate Wilkerson and Wilkerson it is a PB7 so it's on Wilkerson's card and it is a random 62 which is um, a strikeout now at the end of the third let's see let me see if I can put this where you can read it anyway that's the situation at the end of the third inning with the Orioles winning 5 nothing over the A's, and I'm going to do the reshuffle right now. Dugan comes up in the top of the fourth inning, still facing Means. Means is still out there. That is a PB5. That's on Means' card. That is an 83, which is going to be an out, <coughs> and he's an RN, and that's all go F8, so that's an out. One down here in the fourth. McAvoy, Wiki McAvoy is up, and that is a four, which is going to be on Means' card. And let's get these guys off the base pads. Um, <clears throat> and that is a random 27 on Means' card, which is a strikeout, so that's two down. And up steps Whitey Witt. And Whitey Witt gets a PB6, which is on Means' card. And that is a 63, which is an out. And he is an LN. All go F9, and that is it. So they uh, there's a fly out for Witt. The bottom of the fourth. 
and Nunez is up in the bottom of the fourth facing Tom Rogers who came on last inning at the start of last inning now it's an 11 so it's on Nunez's card and it's an 87 which is an out and he is an RP um, and it says I'll go G3 with a possible error and uh, there is no error so there's one away out for Nunez Rio Ruiz is up that is a three it's gonna be on Rogers's card it is a 28 which is a strikeout so that's two away and Santander is up with two down and that's a nine so it's on Santander's card and it's a 31 which is a home run Santander that was a weak sounding home run but it is Santander hitting a home run and that is going to be another hit and another run and so far the Orioles have scored in every inning Dwight Smith Jr. is up and he gets a three which is going to be on Tom Rogers' card and a 72 which is an out and he is an LP and that is a ground out six with a possible error and there is no error we go to the top of the fifth and that is your score after four innings that's what the scoreboard looks like with the Orioles kicking ass right now at this point we're going to the top of the fifth uh, cop is up at the plate it looks like and it is top of the fifth means is still out there um, that's a PB7 it's going to be off a of means his card that's a 36 which is a um, wild pitch so we'll pick another one and that is a 22 which is a single so the A's get Merlin cop aboard with a single and that'll reduce means one more. George Burns is up. That's a nine, so it's off Burns' card. That is an 86, which is an out. He's an RN. That is a fly out to seven with no error, so it's an out. And then the next batter is Jimmy Dykes. He gets a four, so this is on John Means' card. That is a 52, which is an out, and he is an RN, and that is all go G6 with a possible error, and the error rating is no, so that's an out. And then um, that brings up Tilly Walker. Tilly Walker gets an 8, so it's on Tilly Walker's card, and it's a 12, which is going to be a base hit to left field, which reduces means down to 4. And that brings up Fred Thomas. Fred Thomas gets a six. It's on Means' card. It is a 14. That's going to be another hit. That's a base hit. S single to left field. The bases are loaded. Um, the, there's not a lot of good runners on these teams, so I'm not going to try to extend them. And besides, they've just got to keep putting hits together or on base. Chances, they can't be taking chances on the bases. So... Uh, Strunk comes up that reduces means to a three That is a pick of a seven. So it's on means is card for the moment and that's a 38 which is a wild pitch which scores a run and uh, So that lets they got one run there And Eamon Struck is still up because it was a wild pitch. That's a 65. That's going to be an out. He's an LN. LN is uh, F3 with a possible error. And uh, the error is none. So that's an out. We go to the bottom of the uh, fifth inning. Bottom of the fifth, 
with, I believe, Severino is up. Yes, he is. Tom Rogers still out there. You know, this is back in the day, so they pitched like this. Uh, PB8, that's going to be off Severino's card. It is a 43, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Severino strikes out. There's one down. That's a PB6 for Chris Davis, which means it's on Tom Rogers' card. And it's a 27, um, which is, and really, I think he is down to at least 11. Um, but uh, Chris, uh, that's a random 27 on Chris Davis's card, which is a strikeout. So that's two down. And the next batter is Richie Martin. That's a three. It's going to be on Tom Rogers' card. And that is a random 27, which is a strikeout. So he struck out, Tom Rogers struck out the side there. This is what you got for your situation going to the top of the sixth. That's what the scoreboard looks like with the... Uh, Orioles kicking ass by the score of 6-1. to one. And uh, we will go to the top of the inning with Joe Dugan. Joe Dugan in the top of the sixth is coming up. That's a PB7, which for the moment is still on Means' card. It's a 74, which is an out. And he is an RN. All go F4. No error on that, so that's an out. For Dugan in the sixth. McAvoy is up. That is a PB6, which is on uh, Means' card, and it's a 75, which is an out. And um, he is an RN, and all go F5, so that's an out. And that brings up Whitey Witt. And the card is a six, which is on. Uh, means his card and it is a 13 which is going to be a single to left field and reduces him to two um, so single another hit for the A's it's not really helping them though they've only got one run and that brings us to Merlin cop with a PB7 which is on means his card and that's a 21 which is going to be a single to left to right field and he's down to a one cop with the single another hit for the A's um, yeah and that brings George Burns to the plate wait a minute um, PB7, which is on Means' card, and it's a 24, which is a strikeout. So I thought maybe they might have gotten a hit there, but they didn't. And uh, the bottom of the sixth. Hanser Alberto is up. And you know what? They're going to make a pitching change. The A's are. And he is a PB um, or an SR12. So we'll start him at 12. And Hanser Alberto gets a 9 which is on his card and it is a 42 which is a home run Hanser Alberto goes deep and greets Bob Geary with a home run another hit for the Orioles and another run Stevie Wilkerson is up and that's an 11 which is on Stevie Wilkerson's card and it's a 15 
which is a single to right field. That's another hit. In fact, that's one, two, and then one. So he's down to a nine. Renalto Nunez is up. That's a seven. And uh, that's going to be on uh, Nunez's card. And it's a 58. And 58 is a walk. So he comes in. Bob Geary comes in. He can't even get an out. And that brings up Ruiz. That is a 7, which is on Ruiz's card. And it's a 62, which is mercifully an out. Um, he's an LN, though. Let's see if there's an error. LN, that is a G6 with a possible error. And uh, error is none. So that was Ruiz. Yeah, that was Ruiz who was out. One down and Santander up at the plate. That is a pick of three, which is on Geary's card. That is a 53, which is an out. And he is a, a BP. And I'll go G5 with a possible error. And error is none, so that's two out. And that brings up Dwight Smith Jr. Dwight Smith Jr. gets a five, which is on... Geary's card and that's a 55 which is an out and he is an LP and that is an all go F4 he's out but they did get um, the Orioles did get another run that's what you got right now at the end of the sixth inning that's what the scoreboard looks like end of the sixth with the uh, Orioles up seven to one it's incredible because they were both terrible teams so I wouldn't have expected one of them to get blown out this badly but I suppose the A's pitching was really really bad uh, Dykes is up for the A's um, they are going to make a pitching the Orioles are gonna make a pitching change the fry guy and he uh, is a left-handed uh, pitcher he was one and nine in 2019 with an ERA of 534, and he is an SR, um, oh, a uh, relief pitcher RR11. So we'll start him at 11. And now Jimmy Dykes will bat. And he pulls a seven, which is on Dykes's card. And it is a 16, which is a uh, single to right field. So Dykes with a single. And already that reduces Fry one. The A's with their 10th hit. They're out hitting the Orioles, but they aren't out scoring them. Um, Tilly Walker's up. That's a nine. It'll be on Tilly Walker's card. It's an 8-6. He's an RN. That is a G5 with a possible error. Um, and the error is none. So there is one out. That brings up Fred Thomas. That is an, a PB8, which is on Fred Thomas's card. And it's a 13, which is going to be a base hit. It is a single to left field so with one out that's another hit reduces him another one um, it's the 11th hit for the A's and up steps Amos Strunk that's an 8 it's on Strunk's card that is a random 17 and that's going to be a base hit and it's going to be a single to right field and uh, let's see what do we got here for runners. No speed uh, C. Um, let's see. 11 to 42, they're going to try that. And it is. He does score. So that is another run for them, for the A's.
So it's another hit and another run. And then uh, Joe Dugan is up at the plate. He gets an eight, which is gonna be on Dugan's card. That is a 16, which is another base hit. Um, and it's, a, it's to left field. Um, I think they're gonna hold. They, I, they, they risked it before and it paid off, but they still need a lot of runs. So um, that's another hit though. And Fry is getting used up quickly here. The next batter is uh, uh, McAvoy, and he gets an eight. He draws an eight, which is on his own card. And that's a 77, which will be an out. He's an RN, and RN is F6, which will be an out. Uh, fly out to the, or no, it's a, it's a foul out to the um, shortstop. So that's two away, McAvoy out. Nobody would advance on that. And Whitey Witt's at the plate. Whitey Witt draws a five, which will be on uh, Paul Fry's card. And it's a random 56, which is an out. And he is an LN, and LN is uh, ground out to the uh, pitcher with a possible error. And the error rating is none. So Witt was out. Okay, bottom of the seventh. Severino is up, still against Geary. That's a five, so that will be on Geary's card. And it is a 75, which is an out. He is an RP, and that is a three, F, F3, which is an out, one away. And we'll get the base runners off the bases. Um, That brings up Chris Davis. That is an eight, so it's on his card, which is exactly where the A's want it. That's an 88, which is an out. He's an LN, and an LN, that is a, a, a line out to four, two away. And that brings up Richie Martin. And Richie Martin gets a seven, which is on his own card, and it's a 33, which is a strikeout. That's the situation you've got in the bottom of the seventh. It's still a commanding lead for the Orioles over the 1919 Philadelphia A's and the score is seven to two. We go to the top of the eighth. And looks like Merlin Cop is up. And he is. And that is a five, so that'll be on Fry's card. And that's a 67, which is an out, and he's an SN, and that is going to be an F5, one away. So cop is out. Brings up George Burns, that's a five, it's on Fry's card. Uh, that is a 55, which is an out, and he is an RN, and the RN, it all goes F4 with no error, and that's an out. And now you got Jimmy Dykes up, and Jimmy Dykes gets an 11, which is going to be on Jimmy Dykes' card, and it's a 52, which is an out, and uh, that's all go G6 with a possible error, and the error is none. So, um, we will go to the bottom of the eighth. And Hanser Al Alberto is up. Um, they're gonna replace Geary now. Bring Dan Boone in to pitch. And Hanser Alberto will be the first batter to face Dan Boone. And that is a PB10, which is, and he is an RR10, so we'll put him at 10. Uh, that'll be on Alberto's card. It's a 37, which is a double to right field, and that is a single. It's another hit for the Orioles, and it reduces him to nine. Wilkerson comes up. That's going to be on Wilkerson's card. It is a 57, which 
is um, a strikeout. So Wilkerson's out. One away, that brings up Nunez. It's a seven, which is on his card, and it is a 73, which is an out. He's an RP, and the RP is ground out six with a possible error. And there is no error, so there's two outs. And uh, that brings up, that brings up Ruiz. With two down and a man on, that's a four, it's gonna be on Dan Boone's card. And it's a 17, which is gonna be a base hit of some kind, and it is a single. And that's another hit for the Orioles. And it brings up Santander with an eight, so it'll be on Santander's card. And it is a 47, which is a strikeout. Looking at, as we go to the top of the ninth, the 2019 Orioles leading the 1919 A's by the score of 7-2. If the A's don't get five runs right here, this game will mercifully be over. Tilly Walker is up, and they're going to bring in another relief pitcher, El Castro. Castro is coming in. He is an RR10, so we'll put that back to 10, just so that nobody pitches too many innings. Tilly Walker is at the plate. That is a six, which is going to be on Miguel Castro's card. It's an 85, which is an out. He's an RN, which is a G6 with a possible error, and there is no error. So that's an out for Walker. Next man is Fred Thomas. That is an eight, which is um, on his own card, and it is an 11, which is a single. So that's a hit, um, 14th hit for the A's, but still they're losing badly. Anus Strunk is up, that is a 12, uh, which is going to be on his, on Strunk's card. It's a 72, which is an out. He's an LN, that is an out um, four with a possible error. And uh, let's see if that's a, that might be a double play if it's not an error. Let's see if it's an error. Uh, it isn't, and so let's see, GX4. GX4, force out at second, second to shortstop, batter safe. So that was a fielder's choice. And that brings up Joe Dugan. Joey Dugan with a 10. Uh, that is on Joe Dugan's card. It's an 18, which is going to be a base hit to center field. And so that's another hit. Fifteen hits now for the A's, two runners on, and Wick McAvoy, Wicky McAvoy is up five. That's going to be on Miguel Castro's card. It's a 61, which is an out. He's an RN, and that is a GX6 with a possible error, and the, the error rating is 2 to 10. So if the shortstop is 2 to 10, that will be an error, um, and he probably is. He is. So that is a one base error. And um, Wiki McAvoy is on by an error and the bases are loaded and that puts Castro down to nine and Whitey Witt comes up. That's a 10. It's going to be on Witt's card. And it is a 16, which is going to be a strikeout. And so finally, mercifully, uh, this game has ended and 
But that's your final score right there, seven to two, with the Orioles winning big over the nineteen, the nineteen, the twenty nineteen Orioles winning big over the nineteen nineteen Philadelphia A's by the score of seven to two. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke, signing off.